Have you ever had anybody come up to you and go, wait a minute, did you get a haircut? Didn't you just get a haircut like last week? And you go, no, 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 that was like months ago. Hi, welcome to another episode of Unlocking Mind Behind Make More Work Less. My name is Fong Chua. I'm an entrepreneur, business strategist, real estate investor, speaker, and also best-selling author. And every single day, I help others unlock the potentials and guide them to succeed. Today on Unlocking Mind, we talk about another common bias. And the reason why I have this show is so that we can better understand how our minds work, make better decisions, build strong relationships, and of course, avoid certain kinds of chats. So for today's common bias, we're going to be talking about the telescoping effect. So what exactly is that? That is when we remember something that's actually very, very recent as if it happened a very long time ago. And in contrast, we remember something that happened a long time ago as if it happened very recently. Just like when we talk about our haircut, sometimes we're like, wait a minute, I thought you just got your haircut more, like a few weeks ago. In fact, it was like months ago. Sometimes when we go get our car changed or car fixed and all that kind of stuff, we might think, wait a minute, I think I just got my car fixed like a, like a couple of weeks ago. But if you look back at your records, it actually happened months ago. So therefore, we have to be careful about how we make decisions on things. Our minds aren't very good at telling time. We tend to remember what happened, but we don't really remember the exact time at when it happened. Uh, that's because our ancestors back in a very, very long time ago, they tend to remember what has happened and what actually did happen versus when those actually events happened because they couldn't tell time at the time. Uh, there was no clocks, there was no uh, time pieces or anything like that either. So that's why to this day and age, we're not very good at telling time or remembering when things actually happened. Now, if we think of our minds like dominoes, and each day is one domino, that's why we actually think that when something happened very, very recently, and if we have lots of busy days in between those days up to that recent event, and we tend to fill in those dominoes with two or three more dominoes, and all of a sudden we're pushing that domino back, and that's why we think that something that happened recently may have actually happened a long, long time ago. In contrast, um, if something happened a long time ago and we have lots of dominoes in between, all the dominoes in between where nothing really happened, we tend to just kind of forget. And all of a sudden, this domino gets all the way up front and we go, oh, yeah, it happened just recently. So we have to look at um, how we actually are telling time and how we're actually remembering things before we make decisions as for instance, if we look at uh, fixing a car and we're fixing that car many, many times and all of a sudden we're thinking, hey, wait a minute, we're fixing this car so many times within the year because it just happened recently, didn't it? It may not be necessary to fix that car and just buy a new car. But if you go back into your records, you might find that all those repairs happen over a course of five, six years, and all of a sudden it's justifiable to fix it again. Uh, same with home repairs and all that kind of stuff. So we just have to be very, very, very careful to not telescope and fall prey to that telescoping effect when we're making certain decisions. So hopefully that is something that you learned about telescoping effect and you enjoyed this episode of Unlocking the Mind. Oh, something that you can do to avoid the telescoping effect is to have a daily diary, daily log, a day timer to keep track of all the things that you've done. So they have a good record of all the records of all your budgets, your spending, um, life events, so that it doesn't seem like it just happened yesterday or it's happened a long, long time ago. So once again, Thank you very much for your time, your subscriptions, your comments, your, your comments. I love seeing those comments. And until next time, today is the day to lock your peak potential. I'll see you later.